Robbie, I've said it before, a bad day at the office. That really wasn't acceptable performance, was it? No, no, not an ex um, acceptable performance, but um, it is what it is. You know, we've had so many talks now about this, Lee, and um, it is what it is. And we, we're, we're a, a dejected, feeling sorry for ourselves team at the minute. And um, we're a shadow of the team we were early on. This, listen, we, we've lost a lot of players and, um, you know, Jimmy Muir and, and Dan Smith. You know, when you take 40 goals out of your team, I don't care what level or any team, you're going to be weakened. Um, and I think if you look, since Dan's gone and since Jimmy's gone, have we won a game? So that'd be quite interesting to, to have a look at. But, mm. you know, I'm not for one minute trying to ex have excuses and blame certain people or not. But, you know, it just wasn't good enough. But listen, you know, even in the game, we've lost 4 0. At 1 0, Brad hits the crossbar with a volley. Mm. That goes in. Could be a different game. Um, although, you know, they bullied us. Done their own work and just said, put the ball in the box. We can't defend the ball in the box. And we'll concede, and that's what that's what happens. And even at you know at two nil, Mason hits the post, um, and then it's two one. It might be a different game. I'm not saying we're going to go and win. Then the, you know the keeper takes the ball, kicks the ball out of his hands, one ball straight through the middle, and it's goal. And it's three nil. So you know the, there was a few, in my opinion, decent performances. The people who you can rest out on, Harvey White run through a brick wall for you. Mm -hmm. I thought Reese was very good. I thought Keaton was having a good game until his mistake. You know, Chad came off injured, Doug took. You should use your words, Mason. Um, they're the players who you can rely on. And I just said to them in there, you know, when, you, when you're when you on the bench or you come over this side and you're a coach, you've got to look at the team and think, how many players do I trust out there? And there's not enough that me and Jack trust at the minute. And listen, We've had to bring players in Lee, because we d I don't want to go on about it. But our injuries are absolutely nothing short of ridiculous. And when you're bringing players in at a short notice in a certain time that you can't work on them that much, it's tough to get that cohesion. It's tough to get that shape where you can you can practice on. We're having to mix and match every now and then. And you know that is not an excuse. That's just facts. I'm not. Uh, you know, I'm I'm not being good enough this season because of where we are in the league. That's a simple fact. And the players haven't been good enough. So, you know, the book, book does lie with me. You know, I've got no problem with that. And, um, you know, it's just very disappointing. I need to ask you something you, you've just mentioned about the word trust. Can you just elaborate what you mean by that? Well, when you when you when you stood there and you go, yeah, I know what he's going to do for me. I know what he's going to do for me. I know what he's going to do. I know he'll fucking, excuse me, tackle. And I know he'll, I know he'll do certain stuff. But... Um, you know that's just how annoyed I'm at the minute, so I'm trying to keep a tight lip. It's but, fine. Um, you know who's gonna who's and there's too many players out there. For me, I can't speak for Jack. For me, that I don't see, that I trust. So it's like in anything. If you trust that certain person, you can relax and know everything's gonna be all right. Mm. We're not at that stage. I need to ask you about the, the team selection because yeah. obviously that does come down yeah. to you and Jack as a team. Yeah. Was it a gamble? Did it pay off? What's what's the reason behind the changes? Well, it was not a gamble because it wasn't paid off. Listen, we, we, obviously with Petter, we we um, we brought him in because you know we we were led to believe that Dan had a tear of his hip flexor, so we thought he was going to be out. And um, you know it was really difficult for us just to make a recommendation on one on one performance when we know that you know Dan's got other interests and other mm. things going on, um, and we didn't know whether long term that you know Dan would be in a position to do certain things this season if we got yeah. in certain situations so um, you know you make them decisions and um, you know you got to stand by it but obviously as in the game you know I need to look at it again but I'm not too sure how many goals it was, was to fault for mm. so um, I need to look at that um, but you know it's just disappointing because yet again we haven't had anybody stood in front of the young lad to keep the ball on it one question I've been asked this week is, will me and you ever agree on a player with a match choice? I'll give you my suggestion, Robbie, and that was number three, Aston Lee. I thought the young lads come in and done a decent job. Agree? Disagree? Disagree. But, you know, I thought he'd done really well. You know, I, I did thought he'd done well. I thought Mason was outstanding. Yeah. And I also thought for his first time, only trained with us once, I thought Reese was outstanding as well. I yeah, think it was my he, second choice. You know, when, you, when you're the front man, you know, you've got to do things, productive things, and I felt that he... He was involved in everything we did mm. in the final third very well, and um, yeah, no, I, you know, like you say, we brought Ashing, we brought Petter, and we brought 
racing because our numbers are down, Lee. Mm. It's not an excuse. No. It's facts. Mm. And, you know, we've had a lot of problems, you know, with injuries. I've never known anything like it. And I, I, I've, I've come out and said, listen, if, if it was muscular, a lot of muscular and problems, then me and Neil may, maybe need to look at our training. Mm. But it's actually not. It's all like contact, contact and mm. ankles and knees and, you know, so it's just really frustrating. Need to ask you a question I didn't really want to ask. Is that the player hopes gone? Um, well, it's, it's not gone until until it is gone, if you know what I mean. But we've given ourselves a mountain to climb. And I've just said to them now, you need to roll your sleeves up now, and this will be a test of character of what, what you're all about. You know, do you just want to flit around the mid table or finish on a real bad bad note, or do you want to roll your sleeves up uh, and, and take one game at a time and see where the season brings you? With the the playoffs being seven points away and it getting further and further away, does it give you and Jack the opportunity to look maybe towards next season and ensure that the players aren't on their holidays, aren't on the beach? Yeah, but I don't. I, I think as a coach or as a manager, you can't ensure that. It's, that's all about your players. That's all about the personality. That's all about them having that desire and having them, them the self-respect for themselves and for the football club. And to me, I've got to be honest, there's too many people out there who didn't, in my opinion, really care about me or Jack or, or the football club and I've got to be honest with that but you know that needs to be addressed pretty quick and you know unfortunately we ain't in a position where we've got lots of players to choose from need to ask you about next week's game Wingate and Vinsley they're in a, a relegation battle they, they won today 3-2 I believe so that's not going to be an easy game either not when they've, not when we've conceded 7-2 and, and they've scored 10-2 so erm um, in two games, so you know, listen, we um, it'll be it'll be a tough game. You know, every game in this, in this league is tough. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're playing top of the league or, or bottom of the league. It's such a tough, tough game. So um, you know, we'll we'll see. We'll have to dust ourselves down, and we got to go again, and we'll see what happens. Well, Robin, the fans will appreciate you coming out to speak to me afterwards. Thank you very much indeed.